Will Starfield make a case for being the best space game of the decade or like a meteor falling from the sky come crashing down to earth and be a huge pile of mess? Hey, what is up guys, Kale the Randless here, and if you want more updates, news, and guides on open world RPG games, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about Starfield, an upcoming open world space RPG game by Bethesda Studios. An official release date of the game has been revealed to be November 22, 2022, but it will most likely be delayed as that seems to be the case for games nowadays. So what exactly is Starfield? The game's executive producer Todd Howard has put it clearly on a Washington Post, it's Skyrim, but in space. Just from that sentence alone, some concept art, some bits of the trailer, and of course the history of games that Bethesda Studios has developed, the game will most definitely be an open world space RPG game where you can explore different planets, fight alien enemies, meet alien allies, and fly around the galaxy in your spaceship. In terms of the story, not much is known about it yet, but it is known that the character you're playing is part of an organization called Constellation, the last group of space explorers, and that there are many aspects of customization in the game. There are different factions in the game that you can join and where you can carve your own path. This seems oddly familiar, so let's just hope Starfield doesn't turn into that. However, the description seems pretty spot on, especially when we've seen similar premises on Bethesda's older games like Fallout 4 and Skyrim. Some features speculated in Starfield include open world RPG elements like exploration, meeting NPCs, and fighting enemies up above the stars and in different planets. Also from the Into the Starfield, the journey begins artwork. It seems there are also different kinds of spacesuits that you can possibly craft or unlock to equip. These early concept art suits really Really give a whole different vibe than most futuristic space games like No Man's Sky or Star Citizen as it almost seems rugged like and something you would see someone wearing in The Mandalorian. Now the question is, will Starfield surpass other space games like No Man's Sky? I will say it is way too early to tell. The two games will be quite different as in No Man's Sky it is mostly procedurally generated worlds, while Starfield may be a mix of procedural and and handcrafted worlds, which sounds like a lot of fun. What I can say is that we are living at such an awesome time where space games like No Man's Sky and Starfield that have huge worlds and systems to explore exist. So let's just continue and appreciate these type of games. How excited are you for Starfield? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give a thumbs up and share it. And if you want more news, updates, and guides on open world RPG games, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. This was Kale, and I'll see you in the next video.